and this uh, being surrounded by all these women um, at the FEAST competitions and all other competitions has been amazing. Um, when I first started I was the only girl at the skate park and there were maybe a couple of us from the United States that rode um, and it's we didn't have a girls class at all we competed against the guys and so now that I mean it's headed to the Olympics next year like this is huge, this is awesome. And being one of the oldest riders, like I'm so stoked. And I love going to a skate park and seeing lots of young girls just shredding, so it's awesome. And it's cool to see new school riders that don't even have a clue. Like it's, <laughs> <laughs> so it's awesome. <laughs> years ago here we had eight girls and that was big for us I was like oh my gosh there's so many people here we had like four <laughs> and people yeah four people eight people whatever so I think I mean we were all most of us were all riding at that time but it was just the, the like support that needed to come out so that these girls could make it here instead of you know being in different countries all over Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. Keep riding bikes, be positive, keep the numbers growing, and have fun. And yeah. see you in it at the Olympics, right? Hopefully. South Olympics. Hopefully. <laughs>
they never had an avenue for women to participate and I can't really feel sorry for them that the UCI has taken over on that because they do a much better job for us. En, en fait, euh, je viens du BMX euh, Race à la base. Euh, J'en ai fait pendant 20 ans. Et en fait, euh, grâce à l'arrivée des Jeux Olympiques euh, en 2008, il y a eu vraiment un grand nombre de, de filles à la suite des JO euh, qui ont pratiqué euh, par la suite le BMX. Dans les clubs, ça a explosé. Donc j'espère que pour le BMX Freestyle Park, ce sera la même chose dans le, dans le futur.